Hello, in this video today, we are going to learn how to install the PHP MyAdmin software on a Linux based system like Ubuntu or Debian. Now, why I'm making this video is because recently a viewer had requested to make a separate video on the installation of PHP MyAdmin as it gave him a few errors. So, we'll start by logging in into our system with our username and password. And uh, it's always best to run a sudo app git update before installing any new software. Okay, so that is done. Um, then we have to type the command sudo app git install. And along with PHP my admin, if you want PHP my admin to work, you need to install Apache 2 lib apache2 dash mod dash php php and um, my sql dash server php my sql sorry php my sql and finally php my admin this will take a while Okay, so at this point, during the installation, it asks you which web server you want to configure PHP MyAdmin with. So choose Apache 2 and press the spacebar in order to select it. Select tab in order to select an option like OK or cancel and then say enter. Okay, so now it is asking us whether we want to configure the PHP MyAdmin database with dbconfig common, and this is where most of the install, uh, uh, most of you people um, who install PHP MyAdmin uh, go for the yes option. But I do prefer no because you already have a database software that is MySQL in order to uh, configure the PHP MyAdmin database. So select no and hit enter. Okay, so it is finally installed um, and in order to run it in a, as a web server, first let us test out whether our um, Apache 2 web server works. To do that, enter your uh, IP address, it was 1.8. And this should bring, bring up this page. This shows that uh, Apache 2 has been successfully installed. So now we shall edit the config file. So we type sudo nano slash etc slash apache2 slash um, apache2.com and at the bottom of this file you got to add a line so we got to say include slash etc slash php my admin slash apache dot com note the uppercase here now save it using control o enter control x to exit now in order for the changes to take effect we need to restart the apache 2 server so we can type sudo slash hc slash init dot d slash apache 2 restart it says ok and now we have to type slash php my admin hit enter now your username should be root um, and your password should be your database password now you have not added any database passwords yet so in order to do that 
say sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation hit no set your new password note down this password as you will be needing it later yes then yes again yes again and then finally yes uh, so in order for the changes to take effect, take effect again so we need to type sudo service mysql restart Okay, uh, so we will reload this page again. Username root and the password should be the password you typed earlier. And it works. Okay, so sometimes it doesn't work, so we need to uh, have some MySQL entries. So my sudo MySQL u root p enter your password and it should successfully log in into the mysql prompt so now what we will do is we will drop the user root at localhost identified by the password Okay, so now we will create the new user. We will say create user root at localhost identified by and then your password colon. So after you enter that SQL statement, it will give you this one, this this message. So it means that query is okay, and then uh, your new user has been created successfully. Now, our next step is we need to grant the privileges on all the databases available to. Um, root at localhost identified by the password ok so we needed to say um, grant all privileges on um, we did all the databases available to root at localhost identified by your password ok so it is affected and now we need to flush those privileges ok control D to exit now we say sudo service mysql start This time it should hopefully work. Root password. Yes. So this was the actual problem that most users face on installing PHP by admin, especially onto a Linux based system like Debian or uh, Ubuntu. Their work is mostly done via the command line and stuff like that. So all you have to do is after installation, you have to open up the MySQL prompt and then uh, put a few commands. So I will also post uh, a link. Uh, I will also give those commands in the description.